I got something in the mail yesterday and I wanted to show you what I got. I watch um, different basketball tutorials and one of them is the professor and he my I think my boys introduced me to him by showing me some of his videos that they thought were really awesome and and it was probably back when he was um, doing the Spider-Man um, so I mean it's been a, a while ago but when he was doing Spider-Man videos <laughs> I bought one of his face masks. So he has a, a clothing line called Global Hooper. And I'm not um, advertising, paid to advertise this. I'm just showing this. And this is pretty cool. I, I, I bought some other ones that were cloth that you can wash. Some places have you wear, they make you wear a mask if you go in. Um, and, and it's a good thing right now, it really is, to wear something that's going to protect you and protect others. And so this is kind of cool. I haven't tried it on yet, but I like the fabric. So we'll see if it fits. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think it's um, designed so that it can fit a lot of different people. And fit bigger faces and so it's a little bit looser for me so I think what I'm going to do is I can sew and I'm going to kind of take a, a little tuck here on, on my other ones I've had to do that too because they are designed to fit one face <laughs> and not all faces are going to be the same you might have some big square jaws or little skinny narrow faces but so you can always just um, fold in the strap and I would do the top because you want it to whether you you get one from global global Hooper or anywhere else. <laughs> you want it to fit over your nose. So that will tuck it in and tighten it up over that. If you do it this way, it will pop down and not fit snug around your nose. But if you do the top and take a tuck here and a tuck here, then it allows us to have the length to come around your chin. And this will tuck tighter around your, the top part of your nose and keep it loose here so you can breathe. <laughs> so I like this, this is great. And right now there's, the only people that are on the court when I go are my family, my children. My son will go and he'll shoot baskets on the other side. He he doesn't necessarily want to be in the video, but he wants to shoot baskets. So he, he comes and that's um, who is actually on the court when Rachel and I come, when you might have seen somebody in the background. But as far as anyone else, we're, um, there's nobody on the court, so we're social distancing, but you never know when there might be somebody out there, but you gotta have this to breathe. Actually, if there are, we're, we're, we will definitely pick a different time because when you're running, I, I really don't know that I would want to wear a mask while I exercise. So I want to exercise at a place where there's not going to be, um, where I can practice social distancing, where there's not going to be a lot of people. But I um, will use this at the store and anywhere else I go, the post office, the bank, 
and so this will be wonderful and I'll take a couple of tucks and wear my new mask that I got in the mail. Good morning. <laughs> we have come to the basketball court once again. It's day number 10 and we are so excited to do something different today as it just seems like every day I want to try something different that would improve our skills and help us to progress in in our my basketball journey Rachel's helping me in this basketball journey <laughs> she's amazing and so what I thought we would do today is do some passing I mean it, everything that I've done um, I've done uh, different drills and different skills that would help individual skills and abilities but nothing that's two person and and here she's here and so, so I should do something that that helps um, with the two person like passing you know I can't pass to myself but <laughs> well, you so, can if you have a wall but. yeah if I have a wall but <laughs> so we're going to do some passing um, exercises today and uh, and that's gonna be fun and so this is gonna be more of the two person interactive basketball drills rather than just the single single person, single man, single woman. <laughs> and so first, of course, we're going to stretch and warm up and then we're going to practice some passes. So Rachel's actually um, on a real roll. She's doing great in shooting. Today's her day. This is today. It's her day. It's my day. <laughs> it's awesome. And um, today for me is not. <laughs> but but it's so it's great. It's like oh thank you. It's a little bit windy out here, and that might be part of it. Um, yeah. We also determined that maybe there was a leprechaun or something sitting in the net and every time we would shoot it, it would push it right back out a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay, so then finally she knocked him out with one, <laughs> one of her baskets <laughs> and then we started making more. So, so I, <laughs> we're going to do something different today. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to calculate the wind. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you are so <laughs> sweet. She's so supportive no matter what mood we're in, but mood I'm in. <laughs> I blame her for our, I blame her for my mood. Okay. Um so we we are going to do some passes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to dribble and pass the ball to you and we're going to be kind of like in a triangle. Um, there's only two of us and there's three points with triangle, but we both create Ooh. the triangle. I'm just going to run back and forth and become the two points. No, actually I will be. So I'll start at one point and I will dribble it and throw it to you and then you will dribble it and I will run underneath 
the basket and, then you and I'll make the basket. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I'll shoot and hopefully make it. Well, I, I don't doubt it, but I'm just like, maybe, yeah. This is a good drill to do for this skill, which is passing and shooting. And so we're gonna do that. With, we have two people, and while we have two people, I won't always have two people, I'm gonna do some of these passing drills. And so this is what we're gonna do today. Awesome. That was really good. I feel like that was a really productive, even though it wasn't very long lived because 
we came out here a little bit later than we wanted to but tomorrow we'll come out earlier and we'll do more of those passes yeah. and plot them out because I really like that that was, that was really good. awesome was good work. very productive for teamwork so we're gonna work more on team skills than individual personal skills um, while Rachel is with me I may as well utilize that um, that second person that is important so anyways we'll see you tomorrow Woo. I just want to thank you Rachel for being my team partner and my supporter thank you so much I love you love you mom